Hi everybody, Dacrup here. Welcome back to the Fragrant Bunker. Check this out. We are going to uh, do a little fragrant unboxing here. My favorite fragrant unboxings are the Chanel fragrant unboxings. Now listen, uh, I have ran out of some products and we're going to do a little unboxing, but we're also going to do a combination of smell, how to layer something. Listen, obsessed. Okay, first of all, First of all, I also went somewhere else. Um, I did not just go to Chanel, but let me just show you. So let me t I'm taking all the stuff out here. So I've packed together. Listen, you remember just a couple of months ago, uh, we did uh, the unboxing together of the fresh, and it's not focusing, fresh body cream. Okay, the fresh body cream from the Les Exclusives range, literally just a couple of months ago, I unboxed it. Well, <laughs> it's empty. I have finished the entire jar because truth be told, oh my God, it still smells so me. I love, love this cream so much. It is just the best. I, I swear to you guys. And listen, since then, I have also purchased the Body Excellence Lotion. I'm not a big fan of how this one smells. And also the consistency of it. Yes, it's thicker, kind of. Uh, it's, it's interesting. I'm using this. Of course, I'm going to use it. I'm not going to not use it. But I, I prefer this a thousand times. It just, it's wet in the right way. It, it nourishes. It's so hydrating. Oh, my God. This is, to me, it's a dream. A dream of a cream. Seriously. And... So since I finished it, and they kind of always sell out of these, and it's all you always have to wait for them. So I finished it a while ago, and I waited for it to arrive, and it arrived again. And I, my, um, my boutique uh, called me and said, uh, Jacob, it's here again. And I was like so excited. Look how beautiful this thing is like packaged. So this is a brand new batch. It's right down here. You have the batch code. 8605. This one was 8601. Eight, and this is 8605. So I literally gave them like two months to do a new batch. And now I got the new batch. This is so gorgeous. Uh, let's unbox set together. Hold on. Oh, I don't like when they have. Okay. Well. Oh. So let's unbox this and then I'm going to tell you, I got more stuff here, so don't go away because I got more stuff to unbox, uh, but also I want to kind of go through with you the, how the perfume here works. It's a musky scent. Okay. We have jasmine, musks. There's a depth to it. It's a floral musky accord. It's a beautiful accord. And the idea is, yes, to also enhance the smell of the Les Exclusives perfumes. So you are technically wearing this to prolong the smell of the Les Exclusives fragrances. But truth be told, you can wear this with any perfume. And it will enhance the longevity of the perfume you're wearing. However, and this is what I have learned while using this one, oh my god, this is so beautiful. Nobody like Chanel does packaging. Uh, this is what I have learned. Look at this. We'll go, we'll go. Subscribe to my channel while you're at it. You can also follow me on uh, Patreon, uh, Super Dacob, all spelled together on Patreon for extra perks and special exclusive videos that uh, do not make it to my YouTube channel. And a thank you to my patrons who have pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week on my main channel. So come follow me there and also join the live chats. Oh, Love Musk and Jasmine. Very interested. Gloria, this thing is amazing. It's so beautiful. So it, lay, it lays nestled in this little kind of altar of, of sorts, right? And you pull it out and there's a little booklet inside that explains to us. And I've, I've read this little thing in my other unboxing video, so I'm not going to repeat myself. But what I will do in this video is, to, oh, 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 is tell you how the combination works of layering. So because this is a musky base, 
you have to be a little bit careful what perfume you add to it. Why? Because this musky base will enhance the sweet accords in the dry down of a perfume. So for example, if you want your dry down of your perfume to be sweeter, layer it with this. Now, for me, it was a little bit too much when I layer it with Bel Respiro because Bel Respiro has that poopy honey accord in it. I mean, it's a leathery green accord, but there's something ambrosial in it. And when you add it on top of this musk, it goes very, very sweet in the dry down. And for me, a little bit too sweet. But if you layer the Fresh Les Exclusives body cream with Gardenia, Queer de Russie, Bois des Îles, and newly in rotation in my collection, because you know, for years I have not been a fan of this perfume. Now slowly I'm warming up to it and I it's the only Les Exclusives perfume I've never reviewed yet, but I've, I have it here just for the occasion. Listen, we got Beige Eau de Parfum here, okay? I have been wearing this a lot lately in the summer heat. This is already relatively sweet with its kind of honeysuckle accord. Uh, the hawthorn is challenging for me as well, but um, this is the only sweet, well, it has a shampoo accord in it, right? But this is the only sweet one from Chanel, as sweet as Chanel gets, because Chanel is never really sweet. But these two together, heaven. Because it's almost like the musk in here neutralizes the hawthorn that I don't like that much. And it gives me the honey accord. And these two together, oh, this one just tickles out the right notes in beige. I just adore it. But gardenia is also amazing with this one. And like I said, if you want it really sweet, then combine Bel Respiro with this or Le Lyon with this one. Number 22, with the body cream, you're going to get uh, wild summer flowers in a meadow with bees running by, flying by, pollinating everything, honey. It's a uh, it's a patty. <laughs> it's a party when you layer those. Amnesia doesn't work with this, okay? I would uh, personally, but you do you. 1957 is also very musk heavy. 1957 has like seven different musks in there. So you, doing this with 1957, it's not going to change much because 1957 is kind of similar to this, right? So it's going to just enhance the muskiness of it all. Same with boy, really. You know, boy is a fougere, but if you add this, boy is going to be a little bit more grounded. Uh, this is beautiful with Eau de Cologne because uh, with Eau de Cologne, you're going to kind of ground those citruses. The bergamot is going to smell sweet. Really interesting combination, this with uh, Eau de Cologne. Jersey, you don't need to do this with Jersey. Jersey is relatively sweet. That lavender with the musk can go either way. Depends on your skin uh, skin chemistry. On me, not a must, you know, to mix Jersey with the Les Exclusives cream. On my skin, yeah, could could be better for me. So 31 Rue Cambon. That one is very intense. And to layer it with this, it works because it's a powerful perfume. Uh, it's not like this one can alter it too much, but it also enhances its sweeter facets in the dry down. Same applies to Coromandel. Coromandel already has that white chocolate accord with the patchouli in the dry. 
and slight incense vibes. This one gives it even more of that chocolatey accord in the dry down, right? So yes, you can definitely combine it with Coromandel if you already love your sweetness of Coromandel. Um, but it's these two that are really rocking together, definitely. And of course, I know people are going to tell you, oh, this is, you know, Liz Exclusives, body cream. Oh, they just want to, it's extortion. All the money that they're asking you for it. The cream is too expensive for what it is. Listen, I've tried a bunch of body creams, okay? Let me open it. There is something about this one that it, it just hits the spot in terms of its consistency, its smell, how it absorbs on the skin, how it combines with the perfumes. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Oh. oh my gosh, you guys, I... I have never emptied a jar of cream. <laughs> That's what she said. This fast, okay? I'm already on my second jar. I I, I just uh, look at this. Let's take a little bit. Ah, oh, it's all it's very watery at the beginning, right? When it's a fresh batch. And I've had this issue with the fresh first batch, like it was very kind of liquidy. But that, truth be told, I've noticed it's just like the first week now that it got a little bit of oxygen going. It's really fresh. This thing is made, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, my God. No, oh, this. I. Oh. It's like water on your skin. But. Hmm. I love it. I love it so much. I love it so the, on its own. It'll it's already a miracle of a smell. Nothing smells so good to me. The smell alone, it's just such a gift. <laughs> um it, it there's almost something piney, like a little pine musky moment by the beach seaside mediterranean mediterranean cypress pine vibes and those lower bushes that emanate that gorgeous ambrosial scent in the heat while the crickets are chirping inside of the bushes gorgeous and i have this as well i know this is also something not a lot of people like but i adore myla's exclusives range and let me look i will be repurchasing very soon because this is the Les Exclusives Huile Douce, the gentle hair and body oil. Okay, this oil is the same fragrance as the cream, okay? Although, it's obviously slightly... Hold on, let me just close the cream because I don't want any dust falling in it. And we're... There you go. We sealed this shut. This is, look at the beauty of the glass bottle and the thick resin, almost like Bacolite uh, stopper. You twist it, the sound it makes, listen. I kid you not. Okay. I use the cream on the body. I don't use the oil for the body. I used to in the past, but my body really doesn't absorb it. Body doesn't absorb oil, really. Oil just stays on the surface. But, well, depends on the oil. But what I use this for, and it has been heaven. You know that hair is one of the biggest and most strong uh, transporters of smell and of perfume. So it's also really gorgeous to put, you know, a fragrance in the hair, right? And if you're susceptible to alcohol, there's also perfumes that don't have alcohol, right? If, if alcohol dries your hair out too much. But then there's also a trick. Some people spray perfume on a comb, wait a second till the alcohol evaporates, and then you comb your hair with 
whatever's left on the comb, and then you get more of the oils on your hair without the alcohol. But we digress. So this is one of my hair tips. I use this exclusively for my hair. One day, if you know you're going to be home, or at night before you wash your hair, like one day before you wash your hair, and if you got to work during the day and you don't want to go around with oily hair, fine. Then when you come home from work, you put this oil in your hair. I don't put it on the roots, okay? I put it from here, like from here, all the way to the tips. Very important to get your tips really lubed up, honey. Get those tips lubed, okay? And, um... And I drench it in that oil and I massage the hair and I massage that oil into the hair. I really feed that hair in. Then what I do with the hair. Sorry, my elbow really hurt my elbow. Anyway, okay. So anyway, then I twirl it. I'm not going to do it all now, but you know, I twirl it in a, in a bun like this. So it's all oiled up. And I usually put the bun on the top of my head if I'm sleeping that night so that I can on the back of my head. I don't have the bun on the back of my head because then you can't really sleep on the back, right? But anyway, so I twirl it all in a bun up here and I clip it and I let that sedimentate. You know what I mean? That oil in the hair nicely. First of all, the smell, your hair, and you're getting these wafts of the most gorgeous spa, relaxing resort type of smell vibes that relax you, soothe you. I mean, we're talking, you feel like a million bucks, basically. It's like literally something is massaging your hair. Then the next day when you're washing your hair, what I found really interesting is this oil almost like is protecting the hair. So when I do wash it, the shampoo doesn't strip my hair of all of its own oils because there's this other oil barrier, right? It kind of gets that oil off, but the hair isn't all dried up. Yes, I still put in my conditioners and I put in all my products later, but the hair is so much silkier and smoother on the tips later if you do this and it smells just... So I have the oil on the hair the cream on the body, and then I do the perfumes, the Les Exclusives perfumes, but it doesn't have to be Les Exclusives. You can, you can layer this cream with whatever perfume you want. It doesn't have to be Chanel Les Exclusives. It's just, to me, it's like I'm gifting myself a little holiday every time I, I do this little routine. And now, like I said, the unboxings aren't over. I also got this. I really, really wanted to try out a new cream for the summer. Uh, so I got the Numero 1 uh, Revitalizing Body Cream. Now, they came out with a rich version of this, the Riche, but I, I wanted it lighter. They cost the same, by the way. <laughs> so, But I still didn't want the Riche. I just wanted the Red Camellia Revitalizing Cream, the regular texture, not the rich texture. Now, this one also has a very particular smell. So this is rich with... I don't know how many different versions of Camellia and it's like there's a whole, I can make a whole review on this. I, I just don't know if you want me to make a review of this cream. But anyway, it's red Camellia based. It's supposed to be very, very, very nourishing and um, hydrating, which is really important for me. I have oily mixed skin, but it's not hydrated. The water is not in it, but the oils are, which is super annoying. And this cream... Again, the perfume. I know some people don't like perfumed creams. I love them because I love my perfumes. So the jar, the glass is made of recycled glass. The lid of this cream is made out of the uh, leftover camellia seeds from the fectre. <laughs> so the lid is made out of recycled camellia seeds. The glass is made by a special glass manufacturer that recycles luxuriously glass. The interior pot in red is refillable. The cream is actually white. Now, the texture is very interesting and soothing. However, be warned. I have, I have been testing it out and using it a little bit. Be warned that uh, I like to do two layers. Doesn't work with this. 
Uh, and so this, I'm still contemplating how much I actually love this cream because of this. Why am I saying this? Because if you, so I have a tendency to put cream on and then I feel how my skin is absorbing it. And then like 40 minutes later, later, I add, I dab some more on just to add a oomph to the skin. It doesn't work with this cream because if I put too much on my face, it creates like a film on the face, which is really like an oily film, which is really difficult to deal with if I'm putting makeup on after. It's not going to work because if I put too much of this, it becomes like icky, like sticky icky. So if you were to rub your finger over your skin, you would kind of pull off almost like bits of it. Like, like if you would be peeling after you've been to the, in the sun and you turn, you tanned and then you go away after the summer, you go back to the city and then you start peeling, you know, <laughs> the tan starts peeling off and you get those little bits of like, almost like skin falling off or something. It's that little, if you put too much of this on, at least for me, maybe if you have very dry skin, maybe it would absorb it and you're not going to have this issue. But if I don't dose it just right, I will get that extra foam, like not foam, like film. And I'm going to have to take that off before I put makeup on. And this annoys me. So now my, I have to find a way to either see if it's a dosage issue, like I have to put way less on before my skin rejects it, right? Or if this happens, even if I put just a little bit on. So I'm still testing that out. So I I'm still don't have a verdict out on that yet. But whatever review I've watched online of this cream, everybody's raving about it. And, th and these are people who allegedly also bought, the by the way, I'm not sponsored. I bought all of this stuff myself, okay? So if these other people are not sponsored, uh, then, you know, like if they are telling us the truth, they've all had, they've all been glowing reviews, at least the videos I've seen thus far. Another thing I got, oh my gosh. Okay. Not Chanel, but finally, y'all, Clinique, Black Honey, almost lipstick. It doesn't have perfume on. So this is a formula from the 70s, but uh, it really went viral on TikTok a while ago. Then it was sold out everywhere. Now slowly, nobody cares about it again. And now it's available again. This thing I thought at first, nah, not for me, but it's actually amazing. It's not perfumed. Oh, so yeah, the face cream, the Camellia Revitalizing Face Cream is, is perfumed. So if you're not into perfumes on your face, not for you. I love a perfumed cream, so it's fine. Check this out. It looks like a chocolate brown. It's called Black Honey, but it's also called Almost Lipstick. Oh, Sylvia says the peeling is probably because the base ingredients aren't compatible with another product you've applied. Sylvia, great point. No, this is why I've tried it layered with other products, but I've also tried it with nothing underneath, right after washing. Right after washing my face, and I just put that on. I also thought what you said, that it might be that it doesn't work with another product that I put underneath. Unless the product that was underneath was my Chanel mousse, the cleansing mousse. But the cleansing mousse you use to cleanse your face. You wash that off, then you dry your face with a towel, and then I put on the cream right away. I don't think that the cream was meshing with the mousse because the mousse was washed off, right? I don't know. You tell me. But this little thing. Okay. So check this out. I'm going to put it on now. Okay. Now you can also use this as a blush, you guys. You can also put a little bit here and then tab it in. I already have blush on now with this pinky makeup, so I'm not going to push it. But I'm going to do the lip and we're going to see how... Let me just take a mirror. We're going to see how this uh, lip works. Ballerina a Mirrorlet. Not perfumed, by the way.
it adds just a smidge of warmth to the lip, doesn't it? And uh, it feels moisturized, a little bit waxy. So, Pao, this one is called Almost Lipstick, shade 06 Black Honey. So, I did not like Black Honey at first because I overdosed it. <laughs> I kept applying and applying and applying and then I got these like weird um, patches of color rather than having just a delicate, delicate light layer. Uh, that That's kind of the trick. At least that's how it works for me. But I have very, very pale skin. If you have a darker complexion, you can go in harder with this thing, and it's really beautiful. It does, um, it does build. It's buildable, right? But listen, the ingredients are um, castor seed oil, glycerin, and then cha. I don't even know how to pronounce this thing. Uh, Cetyl ricinoleate euphorbia, like euphoria, but it's euphorbia serifera. Calendula wax, calendula, Coper copernica, <laughs> serifera, carnuba, carnuba wax. And these are the top ingredients. And then we enter these tocopherol and stuff after that. But it's a, it's a solid product. Apparently, it's been around since the 70s. And apparently, the formula has more or less remained intact. Um, oh, Carnuba is the queen of waxes, says Ron. JJ says, Euphorbia serifera wax is a type of wax derived from candelilla plants or candelilla. Candelilla? Candelilla plants often used in lip care products for barrier protection and emollients. Oh, thanks, JJ. Thank you for letting us know. Because I am not verse in that universe uh, at all. Um, it feels waxy on the lips, though, you know. But I have worn it, you know, tested it in the in in the past. Um, the thing is, it it feels waxy in the beginning, but it warms up with your lips, and then it it's nice. You know, it doesn't dry your lips up like some other lippies do that I've tried in the past, who shall remain unnamed. <laughs> but it's such a vibe. And that's kind of my thing. And um, who knew that I, that I would see the day where I'm telling you guys, yeah, beige will go, will go. So now that I've put on the cream, let's put a smidge of beige on there from a distance. A little bit more. There you go. Oh. Yeah. I I know. Listen, you guys, it it's it's Chanel for me. I mean I you know, everywhere I go and all the perfumes I try in the world, and there's some lovely creations out there, you guys. There's some masterpieces out there, but I always find my way back to Chanel. It's just... Like... They know <laughs> what they're doing with perfumes. It's on another level. And especially when you combine it with the cream, it's so much denser and sweeter and uh, muskier. Oh man, it's rich. The cream with beige, and we're done. It's like you're done. What else do What else do you need? You just enjoy it. You know, just inhale. Spend the whole day feeling like you're in a one million dollar spa, 
and instead you're at home just chilling, you know, you just took your own bath and you spritzed a little bit on, you put the cream on and you're just like, oh, relaxing, reading some nice book, watching, you know, or if you have a garden, you sit outside, you're, you're, you're observing the sunrise, the sunset, whatever you like, the, bree the, the, the breeze, the trees and the bees. Anyway, that has been my unboxing. <laughs> My guilty pleasure. What can I tell you? I just, I love this so much. The Les Exclusives range. As much as there are quite a few people out there who keep criticizing this cream and this oil and they say it's just a quick money grab by Chanel because like, who needs these products? They're overpriced gimmicks. They're not for me. For me, they are really special. They, the smell and the way they feel on my skin and the vibes they give me, it makes it worth every penny. Uh, that's just me. But let me know your thoughts down below, especially like, does anybody else have both of these? Like the Les Exclusives oil uh, mixed with the Les Exclusives body cream. And then if you do, do you use this for the body or just for the hair? Like I do just for the hair. How do you mix and match them? And which perfume do you like to layer with this the most? Uh, with this the most. But you could also layer perfume with this. You could put a little bit of oil, you know, here or here or in the areas where you want to apply the perfume. You could first put a little bit of oil. Let it dry just a little bit. Don't put too much. And then you spray the perfume on top. Then you're going to prolong even more. Um, the longevity of your fragrance. I mean, just, I don't know. Such a vibe. Plus, I just got these Chanel Sunnies that are kind of like for indoor use as well because they're very light. This coral pinky vibe with the pink lenses. So they make me see everything warmer. So automatically when my eyes have this filter of seeing everything in warmer colors, automatically everything I smell smells also warmer because the nose is connected to the eyes. You guys, this life is an illusion. It's all a dream. It's all what you make of it. It's, it's how you feel. It's how you create this illusion for yourself. So if you set the tone for yourself through perfumes and these emollients and, and these feelings of caressing yourself in your body and just feeling your oats, right? And, and you set the tone right with the color as well, either by putting on shades or just buying a, a lamp for your lamp that is a certain color, right? Not just the white, neutral. You will be setting a tone for a complete vibe. A complete mood. And it's magical. It's magical. It really, really is. We don't need necessarily to believe what they're telling us. You need to spend, you know, $20,000 to go on a one week to one month vacation and on some deserted island and spend your life savings to enjoy it, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I just need this cream, a little bit of perfume, a good book, and a couple of hours to chill. And I am in heaven. In heaven. Because you can take everything away from me, right? Freedom-wise, but not what I got in my head. And in my head, I travel places. I'm free to go wherever I want to go. So, you haven't taken that away from me yet. And until that's not gone, I shall consider myself free. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Love you loads. Subscribe and thumb up the video. Bye.